Hi, this is Trace HD, and I'm here to do the June 2024 tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck. If you'd like to purchase this deck, click the link in the description box down below. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message and you share with my viewers the highest good of all. At the beginning of the month, we're going to take the top card. Middle of the month, I'm going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, I'm going to take the bottom card. Okay, Gemini, let's see what we have here. We start out the month with the High Priestess. So you know what, Gemini? You're going to need to go within, trust your intuition, and trust your gut feelings in the beginning of June. Okay? And I always say, you know, our... Intuition is our internal warning system that saves us from harm. And even if you can't explain why you feel a certain way about someone or something, you don't have to explain it. Just trust your gut feelings about it. Oftentimes when I've ignored my gut feelings, I lived to regret it because I could have saved myself a lot of heartache and pain. But guess what? That's how we live. We learn. We gain wisdom. So every experience you know, is a worthwhile experience as long as you learn something from it. So trust your intuition. And then in the middle of the month, we have the devil. Maybe you're dealing with the Capricorn. Maybe you need to trust your intuition about this person. The devil could really be anything, okay? The devil could be an addiction. It could be an addiction to shopping, you know? We also like to partake in retail therapy from time to time. Nothing wrong with that, but if you keep on doing that, you could get yourself into debt. We could be addicted to food. Maybe you're an emotional eater. Um, that causes us to put on weight. Or you may be addicted to alcohol or substances, Okay, and no judgment here. Whatever the devil is, is something that's holding you back in your life, whether it be a person, place, or thing. It could be a toxic relationship. You need to examine your life and find out what that devil is in your life and to get things back into balance. It may mean letting go of a toxic relationship. Okay, and maybe your gut feelings are telling you something about this person. So trust that intuition in the beginning of the month, because it's going to be spot on. And in the middle of the month, you know, you really need to take stock in, you know, who and what you're spending your time on and if it's good for you or if it's ruining your health or your well-being. And then at the end of the month, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So you've been putting in the hard work, Gemini, and you're wondering if, you know, all of this hard work that you're doing, whether you're, you know, doing something, you know, creative or maybe you're working on yourself, you are going to start seeing the fruits of your labor. This is a card of just being patient at the end of the month, okay? All the hard work is done. You're going to start seeing some results for your hard work at the end of the month. You are going to be able to reap what you sow. And what a beautiful way to end the month. If you've enjoyed this reading, please hit the like button to help the channel grow. So it will help me with the algorithms to get these messages out to people who need to hear them. If you'd like to purchase this deck, click the link in the description box down below. Uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know if this has resonated. And above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.